Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. In today's video, we have another witchy unboxing. This is Magical Folk Shadow Path of the Divine Feminine Box. I'm really, really excited for this opening this box. This is a subscription box. And let's just get started with the unboxing. I'll explain all about it. Hey guys, I am back. So let's open this box first and then I'm going to show you this stuff that may work well with it. But you know what? I'm just going to show you this. This, I got a box from Nine of Earth. This is about all about goddess magic. And this is the dark goddesses. And this is specifically what this box is about. So I'm hoping that this will work well with this box. Anyway, so let's just open up. We're talking about magical folk today. So, but yeah, I'll show you that book if like pertains to it. But anyway, so the, uh, I love their boxes. They're absolutely beautiful. They're printed on it. No like stickers or anything. So he, you're not gonna be able, it's a lot to read, but um, it's just about the shadow path of divine feminine. And that's what the box looks like inside. So beautiful. Um, just gorgeous colors and I love keeping their boxes just beautiful so the first thing you get on top are um, like book of shadow sheets so I do not know the goddess's name so basically their theme is always the shadow path of the divine feminine however it's a different goddess every month so who is the goddess this month because I have no idea so this month is Psyche. Because the other boxes I got, I knew who the uh, goddesses were because they were like older boxes. So I already knew who they were going to be about. This is the first time I have no idea. So priestesses of Psyche are seekers of the truth, willing to bravely explore the shadows for the wisdom they may reveal and the growth their goals, their souls, sorry, might find. So that is what you get. I'm not going to go into this because it's going to give me spoilers. So what do we have? I'm going to put this box back a little bit. So what is this? Oh, yes. Oh, oh wow. Okay. This is lychee. I cannot, I cannot, I don't want to ruin that. It's lychee. I love lychee or lychee. I don't know how, but this is a ritual tea. This is, I cannot read. I don't know why they have, here you go. It's a black tea. So it's going to be caffeinated. Oh, that's nice and full. And I love their packaging. I just love everything about their package. So you get a beautiful ritual tea. So we'll put that there. All right. Let's see. Okay. I am going to. Oh, yes. So we have Hedge Witch Crafted. And I believe this is going to be a candle, possibly. Oh, this is gorgeous. So this is the Psyche. I don't know much about Psyche and I can smell it from here. This is beautiful. You have some, that looks like black salt. It's a double wick and you have some beautiful crystals in here. I love candles with crystals. Let me smell it. Oh, it smells very flowery. I love that. Beautiful. And look at the size of this candle. This is a nice, <clears throat> they always give these nice sized candles. And I finally figured out how to, there, there's a code. If you get the subscription, there's a code to get 20% off the box. Um, usually it's like $43. Um, and I think that includes shipping. I don't remember, I believe it does. But I got 20% off and the code was Priestess. So it, I finally figured out how to make it work because I tried doing it before, but maybe it was because it was 
I was getting like pass boxes and it didn't work with that. I don't know. But anyway, let's put that here. It's a beautiful, beautiful candle. And then we're going to read a little bit about Psyche at the end. So let me see. Ooh. Ooh. Wild pansy. So this is why they make it so hard to read. So I don't know if this is, a, this looks like a tincture because I've had their tinctures before. I had a Dahlia one um, and I've actually been taking it. But again, with tincture, I believe this is a tincture, not an oil. Um, with tinctures, you know, please use caution um, with anything you take internally. Don't just take something like just test it out first or like if you have any you know talk to your doctor should you be taking this if you're taking any medications like it may be interact like just because something has herbs in it doesn't mean it's good for you so yeah just be careful i'm gonna smell it yeah this is a tincture for sure it has a dropper and it smells like alcohol so it's it has alcohol in here. So again, if you don't drink, if you don't like alcohol, if it interacts with like medications, please, if you get this box or any tinctures, you know, just don't take it, <laughs> you know, seriously. But I don't have an issue with any of that. So we're gonna read about that. Wild Pansy, nice. Now, what is this? Okay, that's, look at these huge, huge bottles and 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 jars this is this is heavy guys we got this beautiful sticker here now what is this this is energy treatment energy treatment cactus flower i can't read what that says why all right, well, we'll read about it in the paperwork. So let's see what this looks like. Ooh, and I was able to save the label. Ooh, oh my, oh, maybe it says hair treatment. Maybe that's what it says, okay. Ooh. Oh, that smells really nice. Does that say hair treatment? I don't know, oh, skin treatment. I think the label's a little mess. I hope it's skin. Oh, this smells really, really nice. Cactus flower. Wow. And this is a like a head. This this box was like heavy when I felt it. Okay, we're getting some really nice stuff. This is definitely like I love magical folk because it has like everything I love. Like beautiful candles every time. You have some herbs, you have some like oils or tinctures. Um like bombs, just, I love it. Okay, we have a couple more things in the box. Ooh, nice. So there is tumbled bronzite and am am amazonite, if I can speak, with lavender. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, all right, so there's big pieces interesting so instead of putting the um if i could i forgot my little scissors today um instead of putting like the crystals in an, like a different bag they put them inside with the lavender so that's what that looks like that is beautiful. And if I don't know if I can get the other one. Oh, I feel it. Hold on. <laughs> this I've never seen before. Like I've seen ones that have like little tiny like crystal pieces. So this must be the Amazonite. I'm just gonna assume. And it's in with the lavender. Wow. So this must be the bronzite. That's cool. So we're gonna leave those out and it's inside with the lavender. Nice, and the lavender smells very, very good. 
So we're just going to take those out for now. Okay. I think this is probably the last thing in the box. Yep. And... Wow. Holy Basil. Um, and Rose. So Holy Basil, I believe, is Tulsi. Now, what is this? Hold on. Jeez. Herbal. I can't even read it. Maybe I can read it through the camera. <laughs> Herbal something. I still can't read it. But this is something new. And this has a rubber on it a rubber haha -ha. okay <laughs> it has like this waxy rubber seal on it which is great because it's definitely not um coming out give me one second i'm gonna get my scissors i'll be right back hey guys i am back so this also has mugwort cocoa and pink peppercorn this is like a wash or something because I smell, I opened it up and I smell like vinegar. So this may be an altar wash, but I can't read what that says. So you know what? We're going to go to the paperwork and we're going to see. I just want to make sure this doesn't leak. It's really like sealed well. I could, I was able to leave some of this pretty wax on there and just take the bottom off, you know, so it doesn't like leak. Actually, let me just put it in the box just in case. So, <clears throat> let's go. Okay, so they also give you um, digital stuff. So, so they give you like a, uh, a code and you can like download stuff, like extras even on top of this and you can print it out, which is very cool. And all of that. Yeah, so here is... They give you a code and then it just brings you straight to the extra content, which is very, very nice. Okay, so, so, okay. Um, I'm not gonna read this whole thing. I'm just gonna read the first paragraph. So, understanding the shadow path of Psyche. Psyche's story takes a path similar to our own. Our parents or guardians know what is best for us until they don't. Worried that their daughter would offend the gods by not marrying, Psyche's parents set her up with a distasteful man leading to a funerary wedding day rather than a celebratory one. This is where her individual individuation process began, but it was far from over. Even after leaving home, the influence of others weighed heavily on the maiden. Psyche's law reminds us of the self-sacrifice that is inherent to conformity. Psyche's parents and sisters chose a path, a path for her that was wrought with misery. Even Eros made choices for Psyche when he placed her in a gilded cage, denied the truth about his identity. Psyche models for us how easily those who want to protect, shield, and guide us can become those who control us or possess us. Wow. So I'm just letting you know that this box is, um, I'm going to say, very deep. Um, so if you are into, because this is like the shadow path of the divine. So this is really working on shadow work, meaning stuff that you have to work on deeply inside you. Um, stuff like, let's say you've had trauma from parents, from friends, from family, and you really kind of dig deep into your soul. Like this is some deep stuff. And this really calls to me because this happened to me. Like seriously, um, definitely certain family members so they could control me um, when they thought that they were doing the best thing for me, if that makes sense. You know, they were trying to help me. I think the intent was loving, but in the end, it was 
all about control. And I rebelled against that. So it worked, didn't work for them. Let's put it that way. And it didn't work for me either. So this is like very deep. There's a lot to read. I'm not going to read everything. But that's, this is a deep box. And her name is Candace, I believe. And she really like, it, I think it's a lot of intense magical energy in here. I feel it every time I get one of her boxes. And so if you can handle that intense like kind of energy, go for it. And with like the shadow, like dealing with your shadow. And again, this book may help. I don't know if there's Psyche in here, uh, the goddess Psyche, um, but this may help as well. But this also, so this is a ritual, Psyche's Liberation of the Soul Divination Ritual. Um, I'm not going to go over that because I think you should get the box, um, you know, to get the ritual. Um, and there's another ritual. Okay. Uh, Psyche, the Glow of Inner Light, Div Divinity's Light Initiation Ritual. Okay. So there's two rituals, so that's really, really nice. Okay, so here is what's in the box. Okay. All right, so that is a floral essence. I love that. Psyche devotion, devotional candle. This candle blends the shadow essence of the calla lily. Okay, so that's what I'm smelling. Wow, that, that smells beautiful. Of the calla lily with the purity of pink opal. Oh, that's beautiful. So these are pink. These are pink opals. Uh, together they embody Psyche's journey from an innocent child to knowing, uh, to knowing psychopomp. Okay. The Calla Lily has long been associated with death, channeling shadow energy, but not sorrow. After all, what is death but a change of worlds? The Calla Lily's essence enriches the exploration, exploration of your psyche with objectivity and stillness. Uh, while the hopeful vibration of pink opal fosters compassion, love, acceptance, and forgiveness, helping you your release, helping you release shame and self-doubt. Combine the calla lily fragrance and pink opal, promote inner peace, emotional balance, understanding while creating a safe place for you to heal your inner child, journey towards soul retrieval or perform a necromancy ritual. Wow, I told you that was deep. Um, because to be quite honest with you, I'm actually going to be do a like a cord cutting ceremony for myself. I mean, not for me to detach from another person, um, and that's basically energetically severing attachments. This is how I kind of understand it for myself is basically detaching myself once and for all from the actual person that I thought of. I don't want to mention names or it's a family member. Um, yeah, it's a very long story. It's, it's deep. Um, but it's going to be good for me because I want to fully detach from this person. And I was, I'm actually researching in this book of kind of like what goddess I could actually, um, look into to help me with that. So yeah. All right. So we got the wild pansy floral essence. I'm sorry. This is like a little deeper guys. And it's a little like, it's, it's a lot, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Um, blip, blip, blip. while pansy embodies psyches coming of age, inspiring self-acceptance, allowing you to reach for the light and blossom. Um, as a part of a ritual, place the drops under your tongue to foster self-acceptance, embolden your inner light, and establish emotional balance. Again, um, you know, I would use caution. Please uh, don't take this if you don't feel comfortable taking it. You know what I mean? Like any, anything internal. Then you have the tea. This is a, so here is the, I'm sorry, the wild pansy tincture. The flower essence, and you could also use this like in teas and stuff. You could put some drops, you could put it on your tongue. Then you have the tea, lychee. I say lychee, I don't want to pronounce this wrong. Tea, um, burp, 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 burp. 
The China black tea is naturally scented by adding the juice of fresh lychee nuts to the tea leaves. So it just shows you how to brew it. Um, bronzite and amazonite tumble stones right here. Okay, so together bronze, bronzite and amazonite embody Psyche's empathy and empowerment, the sweetness of her youth and the strength she found during her trials. The pairing is the epitome of soul integration. We find ourselves courageous enough to honor our softness. And it just goes into more information. And we have holy, okay, so this is what I was confused about. This is the holy basil and rose herbal oximo. Um, that's the word I couldn't read. And I was kind of confused about like, I, I don't know if I ever seen that word before. Uh, journey into the shadows with Psyche by your side. The goddess of the soul may not give you answers. She will lead you to them. This oximal is a, I'm sure I may be saying that wrong and please correct me in the comments, um, is a powerful tool of soul growth and retrieval, inner child heal, healing and inward journeys. So how do you use this? Um, burp, burp, burp. So one tablespoon of this tincture can provide grounding, protection, and strengthen boundaries during meditation, divination, and shamanic journeys. Gaze into the looking glass, illuminating inner pools of reflection, embrace your most authentic self gazing back at you. Healing from crown or root. This blend of holy basil, cacao, rose, pink peppercorn, mugwort, apple cider, there it is, uh, vinegar and raw honey strengthens and supports immune, cognitive, neurological, and digestive function. Um, add this to warm water or tea. Oh, you could add this. To, okay. So this is also, I thought it was more like a cleansing, um, like objects or something. Uh, you, uh, one teaspoon to uh, once or twice a day for an added boost of vitality, improving physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Okay, so it says here, it says some cautions here. Cool. All right, so again, same caution, anything internal, please use caution. And last but not least, the cactus flower and aloe skin energy treatment. <clears throat> Just as the cup of ambrosia illuminated the divinity within psyche, cactus flower and aloe skin treatment. Right here. Um, Sorry. Cast true inner and outer beauty into the light. As part of a ritual, massage the treatment into your skin while performing self-reiki or cleansings before energy activations, when repeating prayers, or while affirming self-love and encouragement mantras. The empowering resonance can enri enrich your spells for emotional endurance, perseverance, and empowerment, inspiring you to reach the light at the end of the tunnel. This deeply hydrating, nourishing texture Enhancing blend of cactus flower, clover, and aloe vera reduces inflammation, calms skin irritation caused by conditions such as dermatitis and eczema. Spot test before wide use. So again, anything on your skin or whatever, use caution. So this is awesome. I love this box. I'm hoping that, I don't know. So here's Hecate. Let's see if. Psyche is in here. So these are all the different goddesses that it deals with. Psyche, Psyche, Psyche. I don't see Psyche. No, nope. but that's okay. This, um, this book is awesome. This is from Nine of Earth, but it works with like kind of the shadow path, if you, if you get my meaning. So that is, whew, this was like intense. Um, yeah, her boxes are always intense to me, but like in a good way. Um, it really, it's good for me because this is like, I'm dealing with some stuff that actually I needed help with. And this box is like the perfect thing for me to help with the issues that I was telling you about. 
with like really dealing with your inner child work. Um, these, these are just beautiful like book of shadow sheet to get extra information. I think this is an awesome box. I love, I love magical folk. I always am impressed with them, um, with Candace and what she creates. Uh, there's a lot of intense energy in here. And I'm hoping once she goes through, like, because I just kind of recently, like this past year, got these boxes. So I'm hoping maybe, I don't know if she did like on the lighter side of things. So I'm hoping like after she does like maybe all the dark, like all the shadow work, I hope we maybe get some healing boxes, you know, because I think once you do shadow work and kind of exposing your like darker parts of yourself or your trauma that you you really should do some you should do some healing things afterwards i think that's really really important but i think that this box actually does a little bit of both it brings out some stuff it allows you to kind of get rid of all the negativity but then also kind of brings healing back into yourself and that's really important Anyway, guys, I hope that you, this is a little more intense, this box. I love it, though, because it's exactly what I need. Go check them out. I'm going to put the link to Magical Folk in the description below. And let me know in the comments what your favorite item was. Do you like this type of box? Like this more like intense box? I do. Um, I think it's great. I have like boxes that are a little bit more lighter and more fun. And then I have something that's a little deeper. You know, I think that I like the dichotomy of I like the light and the dark. And I think that's what it's all about. That balance of light and dark. And I think that she does this beautifully. So I will put the, the link to their um, website, to Magical Folk Candace, in the description below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your favorite item is. Um, I love this candle. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the paper. I love everything. I love things like this, like self-care and, you know, like the herbs and the teas and the tinctures. I love all this stuff. So anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching today. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.